In this video, we're going to take a look at a blue ink by Diatrementis, a very permanent one, Document Dark Blue. As always, there's timestamps down below so you can skip around, but if you've got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. Also, down in the description is a link to the Blue Ink playlist, so if you want to see more blues, you can find that there. I'm an ink guy, and let's get into the first writing sample done on 90 GSM Claire Fontaine. No bleeding, no ghosting. Now we can see here that we have no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is lighter than the stub where the medium is the same tone as the stub. The extra fine only took four seconds to dry and the medium only took six. Scrubby for both show us no color variation, which we don't get. And the smear test says you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. To have a range of experience with this ink, all of the writing samples are done with a Jinhao 159 with a 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a medium, and a Jinhao X750 with an extra fine. Then a Nimasine Singularity with a fine nib was inked up, used for a day, and used to take the notes for this video. Now let's take a look at 52 GSM Tomoe River. We have no bleeding, a very minor ghosting. We have no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shading. The extra fine's only a little bit lighter than the stub. The medium's the same tone as the stub. The extra fine took seven seconds to dry where the medium took 10 seconds to dry. Scrubby for both showed no color variation and there was none. And the smear test, you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. I agree with Vita. There's a lot to learn by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. A line of ink is put down and then it's put in the water for 10 to 15 seconds. And you can see that even though it's not right where the line was, it's above it and below it and not moving up very well. It's really dragging into and thinning as it moves up. That's because it's bonding with the, the paper very quickly. Where the one on the right that's let dry for 10 minutes, it is completely bonded, not budging at all. So we can expect quite a bit of resistance with this ink. The next writing sample is done on 80 GSM Rhodia dot pad. No bleeding. We do have some very minor ghosting. We have no feather, spread, halo sheen, and no shade. The extra fine's a tad bit lighter than the stub where the medium's the same tone as the stub. The extra fine took five seconds to dry. The medium took seven seconds to dry. Scrubby for both showed no color variation and there was none. And the smear test, you could not recover if you smeared while you were writing. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to perform on a page. And more importantly, how hard it may be to clean from your pen. The smear is allowed to dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, you should feel very safe using this in a note-taking situation if you wanted to go back and highlight because it was unaffected. Speaking of unaffected, water. It's unaffected by water. It's practically unaffected by pen flush. You can see that there's a little bit that is moving away where the pen flush was. And the one third bleach solution is discoloring it a little bit towards a greenish area, but it's still very much there. Now the really good news is it only took water to get it out of my pen. The next writing sample is done on life paper. No bleeding, no ghosting. Now we have no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade, but the extra fine is a little bit lighter than the stub. The medium's the same tone as the stub. The extra fine took three seconds to dry where the medium took five seconds to dry. The scrubby for both showed us no color variation and we weren't getting it. In a smear test, you would not be able to recover if you smeared while you were writing. For the inks tested, the average viscosity was 2.5 and the realm of normal was 2.1 to 2.9. Diatrementis Document Dark Blue had a viscosity of 2.82, making it normal. If you're interested in the viscosity tests and that stuff, there's a link to that video down in the description. Now let's take a look at Apica CD Notebooks. No bleeding, minor ghosting on the medium. We have no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine's lighter than the stub where the medium is darker than the stub. The extra fine took a scant two seconds to dry while the medium took four seconds to dry. Scrubby for both shows no color variation, which we're not getting. And the smear test, there is a good chance you could recover it underneath that smear. Outstanding. 
For the inks tested, the average dry time was 17 seconds, and the realm of normal was 13 to 21 seconds. Diatramentis Document Dark Blue had an average dry time of 7 seconds, making this a fast drying ink. The last writing sample is done on Franklin Christoph paper. Now we have a lot of ghosting that's going on. These are the darkest spots where the ink itself has come deeper into the page, but it's nowhere near coming through the page. I don't think even the ghosting that I'm seeing would stop you from using the back of the paper. Now we have minor feathering on the stub, tiny feathers all over. I don't see it stopping someone from using it. We get the same tiny feathers all over with the medium. Yeah, I don't know what happened here that it started writing so wide. I think I got a fiber in my nib, so that's why I put that there, because that was the extra fine. So we get tiny feathering on the stub and on the medium, not on the extra fine. The extra fine is a little bit lighter in tone than the stub. Medium's the same tone as the stub. We have no halo sheen, no shading. The extra fine took one second to dry, where the medium took two. The scrubby for both show us no color variation, and we're not getting any in the writing. And the smear test, you could still probably recover it if you smeared while you were writing. Instead of finding inks that look like Diatramentis Document Dark Blue, I'd prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I decided to go with a black ink, because this blue, this dark blue is not super dark. I chose one from Birmingham Pen Company, their Emerald View Park Oxidized Brass. Now, if you'd prefer a different complement color, then down in the description are links to those playlists. So what do I think of Diatramentis Document Dark Blue? The swatch is lighter than most of the writing, by a lot. It's super permanent, which you would expect, and I'm just stuck at disappointed over this not being a dark blue, but just a dusty, regular old blue tone as it is. So what nib and pen are gonna give the best writing experience with this ink? In order to darken it up some, I do think using a wet, fine or extra fine can really help get it darker. You're not gonna get any kind of shading, so that's not the problem. Now, if you're fine with the tone, then certainly a medium flow fine or medium looks perfectly good. I hope you got something out of this video, and in the next video, we're gonna take a look at Private Reserve's Fast Dry Chocolate.